Hello guys, here is a new video about linearization with MATLAB Simulink tutorial. We will consider that we have a nonlinear system and we will present the necessary steps to find a linearized version of this system. For this here in the example we will consider common ray system used for fuel injection for diesel engines where we will find a piezoelectric valve that make it possible to have electronic control over, over the fuel injection. If we consider the equations, we have the pressure inside the ray is uh, P with this equation B dot with V is the volume and T is the temperature. We have the variation of the pressure is the difference between the rate of flow of D amp and D inch is the rate of flow of the injected fuel inside the cylinder. KP and T, so it is again that depending on alpha that we will give later, alpha will give will be given later, and P and the square root of T, P is the pressure, and T is the temperature. For the actuator uh, model, we have these three equations. So we have the expression of the FM, which is the electromagnetic force. We have uh, the env which is lambda times z i is the current the mass position ke lambda k are some parameters that will be given later So we need some theory here to to find the linearized version. Here we have a nonlinear system of the form x dot equal f x and u, where x is the state and u is the input. Find a linearized version of the system. We have to find an equilibrium point or any operating point at equilibrium the variations of the state is equal to zero so if we consider small variations around this equilibrium point so x tilde equal x minus x equilibrium the variations of u We can get the variations, the small variations of x equal a x tilde plus b u tilde, and the variations of the output equal c x tilde plus t u tilde. To find a, we have to apply the Jacobian, where we replace later the equilibrium point. And for finding b, we have to find the Jacobian with respect to u, and also we replace the equilibrium point. The same idea can be used to find C and D. I will let you find it yourself. If we go to the common ray example, we have a third order system, a nonlinear system, because we have P times Z. At equilibrium, the variation is equal to zero. So we can find a linear system depending on A and B and we can also take the output equal C x tilde, and if we want to take the position of the mass, we can take uh, Z equal D times x tilde. Uh, the states that we are using are the position Z, its variations, Z dot, and the pressure. And the small variations x tilde is Z minus Z equilibrium, Z dot minus Z dot Z equilibrium, P minus P equilibrium. And Remember that the input here is u. If we calculate by hand the expression of a, we can find it by the following matrix. So it depends on k and m and c, lambda, alpha, and t, and v. And the same thing for b, we can find the expression of b. So if we want to implement this 
using MATLAB. So here I will first uh, put the the very values of the parameters. And at equilibrium, we know that given by the constructor, we know that the pressure at equilibrium is equal to 30, and we can find I at equilibrium. Here, the tutorial is how to use Semiric Toolbox to find the the equilibrium point. So here we have a nonlinear system x dot equal f of x and u, and x is the state. X1 is the position z, uh, x2 is z dot or the, the derivative of z, and x3 is the pressure p. Now I copy the expression that I developed previously, and here just because the third state is then we know that what is the equilibrium point it is given in p x equal 30 so we will not use f3 only we will solve only for f1 and f2 i will use the solve uh, function here i forgot to put something we yes zd in fact use some better toolbox we have to use the keyword sams for z zd and p now we have the z equilibrium equals 0 0.714 now in order to find a there is another function jacobian so here is the how to use it then when we find g, g we will substitute the values in using subs and here we will use double to find a numerical value a matrix that we found by hand i will copy the expression and as you will see it is the same expression thank you for watching for more information please see the description bye